Hi everyone, the Lone Wolf here. Welcome back to some EVE Online. And this is the first time we show this, but yeah, we do have a small, uh, actually a medium boss out in the wormhole. And uh, we are on our way to do another combat site. So today is going to be a little bit of an update video uh, because um, it just so happens that Zach made a, a pretty interesting video about wormhole space that it's actually best to try and look for like a wormhole with a C1 or a C2 um, static so that you can actually constantly find new sites to do in different wormholes. We on the other hand uh, have a Isaac static in the C1 wormhole and in the first week everything was going quite well. We had two to three combat sites a day. We did them uh, with the Isaac static we could bring them right out to the closest trade hub and we reinvested the money we made into the boss you saw at the beginning of the video. Everything was looking quite good uh, but in the second week uh, we uh, came across a problem that Zach was uh, covering in his video uh, explaining that a wormhole can actually dry up uh, of combat sites if you do them too often and in the second week we had three days with zero combat sites spawning in and uh, that is of course a little bit of a problem if you want to keep playing actively and developing your wormhole uh, from the income you're making there. Um, the opportunities to go to another wormhole that came in through a K162 were pretty limited. Uh, one time we had a C4 that was uh, getting a lot of its members back from Heisek through our wormhole into their C4. So that was, that was definitely a little bit of a threat because they had way more people available and were way more organized than us so they actually start hunting us a little bit and uh, we just uh, basically logged off didn't want the conflict at that time and another time uh, it came out in solitude so very close to our home base uh, but that was also already scanned down by uh, solitude uh, players and uh, they were actively using our wormhole as a transit to bring their loot uh, to and from uh, solitude into high sick and get their sales going so yeah we saw a lot of people on these scan with transport ships uh, with scanning uh, ships and some some guys uh, ready to protect them so it was it was a pretty interesting um, few days there when stuff like that happens but of course if you come into your wormhole and you see that there are no combat sites for you to do that's a little bit unfortunate but it is a part of a wormhole uh, living that we had not completely uh, taken into account when we decided to go for a uh, high six static in our C1. Uh, so that also means that we are changing our objectives a little bit. Um, being able to live in a wormhole like this is actually pretty doable uh, if you're willing to uh, play EVE Online in small chunks. Uh, basically the first week uh, you could say we played for maybe up to an hour uh, every evening. We managed to do the combat sites, uh, get to a, a trade hub and then bring in uh, whatever it was that we uh, want to bring in from the profits from the wormhole. Um, but yeah, in week two, uh, those chunks became shorter and shorter with uh, fewer combat sites spawning and three days without any of them. Uh, so what we are going to do, because we also have a few new guys uh, in the worm uh, in, in the corporation and uh, Cedar Balnit is back, same with Arvalis. Uh, we are going to use this wormhole a little bit more of as a weekly day trip uh, that we're going to aim for for the new guys just to get uh, their feet wet uh, their feet wet in in wormhole space without forcing them to come and live in wormhole space right away and then to commit to like a c2 that opens up in our wormhole to go in there risk uh, them losing their battle cruisers because well they're not really at the point yet uh, where where they're too willing to uh, to lose them and uh, so yeah that's basically the plan uh, we have moved basically our mains back to uh, our home base so that we can help them uh, in, in their high seek adventures as well. Uh, we've, we've been doing some missions together, some high seek exploration together, trying to make some money, trying to get them into their battle cruisers. And we have an alt in the wormhole uh, so we can always scan what the exit is and see how many combat sites are available. And then pretty much once a week we'll shoot for something like uh, maybe three to five combat sites available and less than 10 jumps from our home base. Okay, well, we'll, we'll take our battle cruisers, clean up the wormhole, do a little bit of post maintenance, 
uh, get the loot out, reinvest that stuff, and then uh, after that, uh, people are free to either stay a few days or go back to our uh, Heisig home base to uh, do their own activities a little bit in, in more safety. And uh, just keep it going like that, more as a, a day tripping, a weekly day trip into our little wormhole uh, without the need to uh, only stay inside here which can be a little bit uh, boring for the new guys as well especially if like I've said a few times already uh, you come across the day where nothing spawns in well that's actually a pretty boring day uh, but other than that it's all going uh, pretty well in the corporation um, about this topic if you want to know how to actually make wormhole living more profitable yeah check out Zach's channel ZAQQ his latest uh, video is right about this topic um, where you should actually look for a wormhole that has a profitable static rather than uh, focus entirely on uh, the easiness of, uh, of getting goods in and out of the wormhole that's not really your priority because uh, if like us you do it a little bit intensively you will actually have a, a drought in your wormhole and it'll take some time for uh, for sites to spawn back and for you to be able to make some more money uh, but yeah uh, what you can expect uh, from this is that will alternate a little bit you'll get some Isaac footage and some update uh, on, on how the guys are doing uh, maybe also money wise and uh, skill wise ship wise stuff like that and when we do a, a day trip uh, or if something happens inside our wormhole I'll of course try and update you as well but it's not going to be uh, only wormhole footage you'll see anymore we'll have some high six stuff as well anyways uh, this is gonna be the last uh, sleeper over here for us to take down um, thank you very much for watching guys I'll uh, let the rest of the footage run but uh, I'll see you all next time.